and let's say we put a load. So how does a pin react? Well, basically, it allows the structure to just rotate about the pin. Okay, and the big difference between a pin and a roller, if we put a roller, now this thing is also free to roll in the roller direction. All right, and that's a big difference. Why do we do that? Why do we have pin and rollers? Because you have to leave the structure some way to the floor. So if you put your structure all the support spins, most likely, you know, if it's like a summer day, the structure will to expand, so the spins are, the, the, the pins are constraining the structure, it cannot expand and then it will buckle or something like that, okay? So we are not saying this today, but more or less to have an, an intuitive idea of what's going on. So, any question about this? Oh, one more remark before we do the activity. So as Professor Pritchett uh, mentioned, so I, I coded this up. Okay. The thing is that my research field is uh, computational mechanics. Okay. And in computational mechanics, as opposed as computer graphics, you may see many games that are kind of bridge-like games. Those are based on the computer graphics engine. So in computer graphics, the purpose, the objective of discipline as a discipline is to make all this animation to look real. Okay. As long as they look <coughs> real, you're fine. The purpose of computational mechanics of the discipline is to reproduce reality or to predict reality. Okay? So we are very serious about how the structure behaves. So on this app that you will use today, what we put in here is really state-of-the-art simulation techniques. So it's what I would put for any paper that I publish in any top scientific journal. So all the numerical methods or the physics models, everything is state-of-the-art. In such a way that what we're doing today is kind of like a virtual experiments. Okay? So what you are doing would really look, <coughs> if you do the experiment in real life, would look very similar to what we are doing today. Okay? So just take this as a virtual experiment uh, place, right? To play with your ideas. So now let's go. All of you have trust me open? Alright. So let's go to the main menu and you can go to challenges. Uh, in challenges, I want all of you to go to challenge number one. So we will review a couple of concepts before you start designing. Okay? So in challenge number one, it looks like this. So I, I'm giving you some support, and I'm giving you a load, and you have to be able to hold the load as a strap. So first, I want all of you to follow me and press this button over here. That button is for adding a bar. Okay? And then, once you that button is highlighted, the way you add the bar is as follows. So you press down on your pin, and keep your finger down, and start moving, okay? And you go and you reach your low, and then lift your finger, okay? So you should have a bar like that. Does everyone have just one bar like me? All right, so now I want you to hit play. So if you hit play in this case, what happens, it starts swinging. So we are holding the load, but not as a structure. This, was, this is what we call a mechanism, okay? This is not a structure. So you get no points in the game, because it's, the game is about structures and not mechanisms. You get no points if you are holding your load as a mechanism. So to hold it as a structure, just touch the screen anywhere. I will go back to your initial configuration. And let's add another bar coming from the other pin. So you, you hit add bar button. You hit on your pin, you drag your finger until the load, you release it. Okay? And now you have that. So I want you to hit play. So now you are able to hold the load. Of course, it's a very simple scenario. So what do you think is better, under tension or compression? Tension, because the weight is, is pulling them. All right? And in the game, the way you understand tension and compression, this is very important for when you are designing, okay? So tension will always be reddish. And the higher the stress, the brighter the red. So what I want to do now, so here we have a tracker of the weight of our structure. So this weighs 12 kilograms. So what we want to do is to make the structure lighter. If we make the structure lighter, we, we, we get more points, okay? And that will be our metrics in our challenge, right? Because we want to make it we want to make structures that are strong but light. So there is another button here, this one, the last one, 
and you see it's kind of like narrowing the bar. I want you to hit that button and touch each bar only once. So you get that we are making the bar narrower. And now we hit play. The thing still works, but now the red is becoming brighter. Okay? I want you to do this one more time. Is anyone able to do this? Yeah. To reduce the cross-section on area? So now you hit play. And you see now the red is very intense, so we are under compression under a very high low, but it's not breaking, so we are fine. We got our maximum score, okay? So you earn three golden nuts. Uh, we are engineers, we like nuts. Okay? So the price is a golden nut. So in every challenge you can get one, two, or three golden nuts. One golden nut is you are passing the challenge. You know, two means you are doing much better, and three is that you are within 5% of my best score. <coughs> all right? Um, so it's like a personal challenge here. So let's go now to challenge number three to understand a little bit better compression. So just with this button here, okay, you go to the second challenge and then you hit it again and we go to challenge number three. So we are in challenge number three. So let's start. So the difference between challenge one and three is that now here we have a, a here we have a roller instead of a pin. Okay. So let's start first <coughs> with what we did for challenge number one. So let's add two bars here and here, all right? And if we hit play, before you do it, what do you expect to, to happen here? The roller will roll, right? That's what rollers do, unless you prevent them from doing so. So where, which direction is going to roll, right or left? Left, right? So let's hit play. The roller rolls to the left. So how do we prevent that from happening if you're designing your structure? Oops. Sorry? I bar at the top. So if we put the bar at the top, that bar will prevent the roller from moving to the left. So let's add the bar at the top. Okay, hit play. Oh, don't hit play, sorry. <laughs> don't hit play, yes. I want to ask you a question beforehand. So that bar at the top, do you expect it to be under tension or compression? Right. Why? Because it's preventing the roller from going in that direction, right? So you guys are very good. You know, it's, it's, I usually have a hard time for people to figure it out if that bar is going to be under pressure or pressure, right? So you can understand. If you are understanding more or less how the structure, you can expect in your head more or less how the structure is going to deform. You can understand what part of the structure is going to be under tension and compression. And that intuition is key when you are designing a structure. Even before you start analyzing the actual forces on your structure, you have to have a mental picture in your head on how the structure is going to so we expect these two bars at the bottom to be under with which loading? Tension or compression? Tension. Tension. And this bar at the top? Compression. So let's keep playing. And we'll see. The red ones are under tension. The blue